Greetings from Ms. Monali Mani. I will be teaching you Mathematics 2, Chapter Number 2, Parallel Lines. I hope you will understand the concepts and even understand the examples which are solved after the concepts and also solve the MCQs which are given at the end of each part. So all the best to you. Good luck. Standard 9th, Mathematics 2, Chapter 2, Parallel Lines Let us recall what are parallel lines. The lines which are coplanar and do not intersect each other are called parallel lines. So here in the figure you can see two lines, line L and line M which are parallel lines. We can see various examples of parallel lines in our real life too. Example first, the railway tracks run parallel to each other. Second, the edges of a ruler are parallel to each other. Third, cricket stems are parallel to each other. Lines on a ruled paper are parallel. Zebra crossing has parallel white lines. The opposite boundaries of an eraser are parallel. Let us now recall the different angles associated with the parallel lines. In the figure, line L is parallel to line M. And line N is the transversal. So here we will have pairs of corresponding angles which are on the same side of the transversal but above the parallel lines or below the parallel lines. The first pair will be angle D and angle H. The second pair will be angle A and angle E. The third pair will be angle C and angle G. And the fourth pair will be angle B and angle F. The second type of angles are alternate angles. Here alternate angles are in interior also and in exterior also. So pairs of alternate interior angles will be angle C and angle E and the second pair will be angle B and angle H. Then pairs of alternate exterior angles will be angle D and angle F and the second pair of it will be angle A and angle G. The third type of angles are Pairs of interior angles which are on the same side of the transversal. So the first pair will be angle C and angle H which are interior. And the second pair will be angle B and angle E. Some important properties. First, when two lines intersect, the pairs of opposite angles formed are congruent. Second, the angles in a linear pair are supplementary. Third, when one pair of corresponding angles is congruent, then all the remaining pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. Fourth, when one pair of alternate angles is congruent, then all the remaining pairs of alternate angles are congruent. Fifth, when one pair of interior angles on one side of the transversal is supplementary, then the other pair of interior angles is also supplementary. Parallel lines teach us to walk on the right path. As parallel lines are straight lines which do not intersect each other, but they have different pairs of angles associated with them. In the same way, we should 
always walk on the right path and automatically we will get the reward for it.